today I really wanted to share with you guys some of my favorite tips to be healthy in the morning, like easy ways that you can start your day just feeling healthy. The first one is a little smoothie recipe, which you either just saw or you're gonna see, and I'm gonna taste this smoothie right now. It looks so good. If you start your day with a smoothie, it's just really, really easy on your digestive system. Now, obviously I don't always do this, but definitely on days, maybe like it's that time of the month, you just want like good digestion, feeling good, feeling healthy, like light, fresh, and especially starting your day with apple cider vinegar, so good for your digestion. Apple cider vinegar is really, really good for your gut. It's gonna give you beautiful skin. I mean, there's just so many benefits to it. So um, this actually has a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar in it, and look how beautiful it looks. Doesn't this just make you wanna go on like a tropical vacation? Honestly, it smells so good and it's beautiful. This actually was from the magazine that I picked up last night at Target, if you saw that video. And I thought, what a great way to start the morning with your apple cider vinegar already in your smoothie. And a lot of people don't like apple cider vinegar, which it's definitely an acquired taste. And I don't know if I can confidently say that I love it. I love the way that it makes me feel. And I love the days when I take it in the morning. And this just makes it easier to take it. So let's try this. Oh, this is amazing. Like, you would not believe a whole carrot is in this recipe. Honestly, this is delicious. Whoa. It has a little bit of like a zing to it, but it's nothing intense at all. It makes it like very refreshing. I feel like if I just close my eyes, I could just be on a tropical beach, honestly. I made you a smoothie. It has a whole tablespoon of apple cider vinegar in it. And a whole carrot. Dang. That's really good, babe. You like it? Heck yeah. And thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Get out my next little tip that I have for you guys, which is starting your morning with probiotics. I found these at Walmart probably like a few months ago, and they're really inexpensive. They come in packs of four. This is the Good Belly Plus shot in my favorite flavor. I've tried all of them. Blueberry acai, hands down, is the best one. Make it easy on yourself by actually like, I want to take that. Like, this is so delicious. I don't even think of it as like taking my probiotic, even though I am, and it's just like, it's so good. I just want to take my blueberry acai shot because it's yummy. Find something that works for you and like make it fun, and I've really found that to be true literally in every single area of your life. It's a happy face. I just love that apple cider vinegar in it. I know, it has like a good zing, but it's not aggressive. It's, it's mm -hmm. that good, it's that good. It's really good. It's very, very refreshing. It's a good way to start your morning. This tip is kind of weird, but I'm gonna put it in here because this is something that I actually do and it works. And again, going back to the probiotics, lots of probiotics. For years, I had major digestive problems. I'm talking horrible, like, my stomach was bloated 24 seven, no matter what I ate. And the two major things that I did was I found out that I was intolerant to gluten, so I cut that out, and I really got serious about healing my gut, and it changed my life. So probiotics are super important. Sauerkraut, okay. I feel like a loving mother right now, like I'm telling you stuff that you don't wanna hear, but I'm gonna tell you anyway because I love you. Get the kind that has beets in it. This one has red beet and cabbage. It's fermented organic sauerkraut. And this is just another way to love on your gut and take care of yourself. And especially through like real live food. Um, probiotic supplements, obviously I take them, but I'm just saying that the more that you can get into your body, I feel like just the better. Boom. I really wanna start making my own sauerkraut. I'm gonna try it. I am going to finish my smoothie, which is amazing. I love that Bo loved it. He loved it, he wanted more. It's like finding a sneaky way to make taking apple cider vinegar easy. Just sneak it in your smoothie. It is really, really cold and dreary and overcast today. If you can just get outside just for a few minutes in the morning, especially it's really nice when the sun is shining because then it kind of like, it really wakes you up, you get the sun on you and it just feels really good. And even on the days where it's kind of cold and dreary, I feel like it still even lifts your mood just to get outside. Um, it's really also good for your digestion to go for walks, especially after dinner. <laughs> We're in my 
room right now, which is super random. We haven't been in here, change of scenery. Another thing I really wanted to talk about in the morning, and this is something that I actually, I'm really excited to get back to this. Vlogmas has been crazy good, don't get me wrong at all, um, but it is like messing with my sleep schedule. Something that has really transformed my days is waking up in the morning and really, really praying. I pray for everything that comes to my mind, and I have found that when I truly leave it in the hands of God, that I really do see God's hands in everything in my life. I guess it's a tip, it's something that I just wanted to share. It's been so transforming and like life-giving for me, honestly, because it's so easy to like go on our phones or be distracted in the morning and be really, really intentional about not being distracted. I think the undistracted life is something that we all really crave and we don't wanna get distracted and yet we do. It's really easy to be distracted and really setting your day with praying about everything that's concerning you and knowing that if you leave it in God's hands, that is the safest place for it to be. I find that when I leave things in my own hands, when I when I try to take charge and take control, um, I find that I don't have any control at all and I really saw that in this past year with everything that happened and everything was just crazy and honestly I really wasn't talking to the Lord about it I was just freaking out and worried all the time and um, it was a very stressful way to live and um, I'm really thankful for that because I learned through that that I carry so many burdens that I don't have to carry. I have to just roll my burdens and my cares over to the Lord because He is the one that can change things. And, and I find that He literally empowers me for my day. He equips me to do everything that I need to do in the day. And He'll do that same thing for you. Just talk to Him about it. Journaling my prayers and really writing them down. Obviously, prayer life, very dynamic. You know, you can journal, you can just talk and pray. Um, you know, the Bible says to pray without ceasing. So praying throughout the day in your car, wherever you are, but ultimately it's just talking, it's just talking to the Lord. And so, um, that's what I find has really changed my mornings for me. Like honestly, life changing, like truly, truly, truly life changing and life giving really. So I'm really excited to, um, get back to my early mornings. I'm going to go read Luke right now. I just read Luke chapter 17. I seriously cannot believe that tomorrow's the 18th. I know I say this in every single video, but like Christmas is almost like a week away. Life does not slow down. All right, Luke chapter 17. It says in verse 33, whoever seeks to save his life will lose it and whoever loses his life will preserve it. I guess honestly, I just kind of want to like speak from my heart tonight because when I read this, I just could not help but think of the time in my life where I just, I wanted more than anything to just like be happy in my life. And, and I know again, like I'm not a theologian, like this is literally just stuff that I get out of it and that God is teaching me or like God reminds me of stuff. I'm just a girl who reads my Bible and that's why I'm doing this with you guys is to seriously like, this is like if we were like sitting at coffee and we were just like talking about like, what we learn or what the Lord is doing in our life. And I just remember, this is just my personal story. Like when I was really, really struggling with binge eating and with my body and with wanting to be thin and wanting to look a very specific certain way and fit into a certain gene size, I really truly with all of my heart believed that that was going to make me happy. And I just was seeking after like, having a beautiful, perfect life. And I really thought that that came through having a perfect body. And and I, all of this to say is that I'm just so thankful that, to put it quite simply, that nothing in this earth will really satisfy us except for Jesus. For me, I have seen that in my life like i have tasted and seen that the lord is good like in our lives spiritually you know with verse 33 like essentially like just serve the lord with our whole lives and with like our whole heart and not to like be so focused on this life trying to make this it like this isn't it you know i i just always think of that switchfoot song like we were meant to live for so much more have we lost ourselves like i for years lost myself in like this is it, this is what I gotta live for, so I better make it happen. And we were meant to live for so much more. We really, really were. I just want you to know that in every video that you are loved by 
God. I just hope that you know that and that you're reminded of that in every single video that you're loved by God. So all that being said, I think right now I'm actually going to go work on my ebook. This has been such a crazy month that I haven't had time to sit down and write. And even for my book, um, my ebook and my book, I, I really, really want to finish my ebook and I've poured so many hours into it and I just, I want to like find that time to like sit down and pour so many more hours into it and really finish it for you guys. I, I truly have poured um, every ounce of love and everything that I possibly could pour into something, I've poured into it. So, sorry about that, my card got full, I had to delete some stuff, that means that I have to go. I'm gonna go write right now. I can't wait for you guys to read it. I'm so excited to share it with you, and the first people to know about it are gonna be the people on the email list, so sign up for emails. I haven't reminded you guys of that in a few days, but it's always in the description box. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching these vlogs. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Hit the post notifications so that you are notified for every single video. And I love you, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.